And there came a time known as the third millennium, a time when the people of the earth were ravaged by disease, pestilence, and poisons, a time when the horsemen of the apocalypse ran the multinational corporations, a time when America's citizens were waking up to a future of no money and no jobs, a time when a special man came forward, a man that your American taskmasters did not want you to see or hear, a man whom they took prisoner and hid away, a man whose name is Yahweh Ben Yahweh. For telling people the truth, Yahweh Ben Yahweh was taken prisoner by the minions of darkness. For giving people hope, Yahweh Ben Yahweh was led away to Golgotha. This is the continuing story of the past and of the future, about good and about evil, about your life and what it will become, a story that tells why the so-called black man of America had to suffer for over 400 years, a story of what will happen to the so-called black man if he returns to the laws, statutes, judgments, and commandments of God, you hey wav hey. Olam, Olam shall, shall you hey wav hey. Wav hey. The, universe the universe of, of you, you hey wav, wav, wav hey. hey. Brought, Brought to you by, by the nation of you of hey wav, wav, wav hey. Working for you and your future. Good or evil, life or death. This is your choice in this, the year 6003, the year of judgment. Shalom and welcome to the universe of Yahweh. My name is Josiah Israel and I am your host. For over seven years now, we have been discussing some of the things the Bible said would occur in the day of judgment. We warned you that the weather was going to change and that the powerful forces of nature were going to bring terrible destruction upon America and the world, and that it was going to get worse and worse and worse, and it has. We alerted you that violence in the public schools was going to increase, and it has. We showed you in the scriptures that forewarned of wickedness in high places, and we are witnessing today gross misconduct and serious crimes being committed by some of our highest elected officials. What lies ahead for America and the world is nothing less than the proliferation of deadly diseases and plagues as foretold in the Bible. But there is hope. The Bible tells us that at the end the Messiah would be revealed, and at that time he would save the righteous from this impending destruction. That one, the Messiah, is Yahweh Ben Yahweh. So we invite you to join us in the universe of Yahweh featuring the commandments of Yahweh and the Messiah revealed. First, the commandments of Yahweh. For 6,000 years, we have been suffering at the hands of rulers who transgress the laws of yud heh wav -Heh and teach all people throughout the earth to transgress the laws of yud heh wav -Heh. In order to have peace, love, and harmony upon the earth, we must return to keeping the commandments, judgments, laws, and statutes of yud heh wav -Heh. All of us have been taught that the commandments, judgments, laws, and statutes in the Old Testament Bible do not count today. In this series, we will show you that the commandments, judgments, laws, and statutes in the Old Testament Bible do count, and that if we govern our lives according to these commandments, judgments, laws, and statutes of God yud heh wav -Heh, then we will have peace and goodwill upon the earth forever. We invite you to study along with us, however, 
In order to do so, you must have the following tools. A King James Version of the Bible, several dictionaries, the New Strong's Exhaustive Concordance, a set of encyclopedias, Hebrew and Greek lexicons, a thesaurus, and a synonym finder. Shalom. My name is Ben Kayo Bethel Yishraya. Yahweh put Adam in the Garden of Eden and gave him the first two commandments ever given to man, which were to dress and to keep it. In our continuing series of the commandments of Yahweh, our central point of concentration has been for some time now on the word watch and its relationship to the word keep. Last week, we discussed the fact that Yahweh ben Yahweh is the first begotten of the dead. We verified that begotten by definition means to cause to exist, to give life to. This definition gave credence to the fact that Yahweh ben Yahweh is the first to cause himself to come into a conscious state of mind. He is the first to give life to himself and is also giving life to us, the children of Israel. He is the first to cause himself to come from a mentally and spiritually dead state of mind to divine consciousness. He is the first to come proclaiming to the world that he himself is God, Yahweh in the flesh as the Son, Yahweh ben Yahweh, and that he is self-born, self-raised, self-appointed, self-proclaimed, self-governing, and self-sufficient, thus fulfilling Revelation chapter 1, verse 5. For these reasons, he is being crucified by the rulers of the world, as prophesied in John chapter 19, verses 6 through 7. We showed you a video clip from our renowned television series, The Crucifixion of the Messiah. We presented compelling and irrefutable facts to show that the faithful witness and the first begotten of the dead the one prophet whom Yahweh has raised up like unto Moses, who shall return or restore us, the children of Israel, to the Garden of Eden, the promised land, has been rejected, hated, mocked, scourged, forced to bear his own cross, and nailed to the cross that he was also arrested, tried, judicially murdered, sentenced, and put in prison for crimes he did not commit. We told you that the faithful witness and the first begotten of the dead, the one prophet whom Yahweh has raised up like unto Moses, is Yahweh ben Yahweh. Today, we shall continue our course of singling out the family of Adam from the perspective of the word watch and its relationship to keep. We are going to show you some more startling facts that will continue to prove that Yahweh ben Yahweh is the first begotten of the dead from yet another perspective. Hidden in the word begotten, are the facts to show conclusively and beyond a reasonable doubt that Yahweh ben Yahweh is the Messiah, the one promised to come. Let us prove this with indisputable and verifiable facts. But first, let us separate the word begotten so we can thoroughly expose all of its intrinsic parts. Bear with us because we are going on a very diligent fact-finding mission. The word begotten is a compound word consisting of two parts, 
be and gotten. In accordance with Webster's Ninth New Collegiate Dictionary, copyright 1989, on page 136, the prefix be is defined as make. So, the one promised to come will be the first one to make himself. Let us examine this definition closely and learn what be actually means. On page 718, make is defined as to cause to happen to or be experienced by someone. On page 217, cause means a person or thing that is the occasion of an action or state, especially an agent that brings something about. Occasion, on page 816, describes a condition that brings something about. On page 64, agent means something that produces or is capable of producing an effect. A means by which a guiding intelligence achieves a result. Considering all of these facts, we can assert with objective evidence that Yahweh ben Yahweh, the one promised to come, is the first person to demonstrate that he is capable of producing or bringing about his own divine condition or state of mind. He is the first person to possess the spirit by which a guiding intelligence from within himself is able to or capable of achieving or bringing about a divine condition or state of mind, which means that he is self-induced. On page 718, another definition for make from the prefix be is to cause to exist. Now let us scrutinize the word exist. On page 435, exist is defined as to have real being, whether material or spiritual. On page 141, being means conscious existence. In the Synonym Finder by J.I. Rodell, copyright 1978, on page 991, Real means the same as physical or bodily. Conscious essentially means having knowledge or awareness. According to Webster's Ninth New Collegiate Dictionary, on page 733, another word for material is physical. Therefore, Yahweh ben Yahweh, the one prophet prophesied to come, is the first to have both physical and spiritual knowledge or awareness of his divinity, which means that he is self-educated. Another definition from Webster's Ninth New Collegiate Dictionary on page 719 for make is to produce as a result of action, effort, or behavior with respect to something. On page 938, in the same dictionary, produce means to give birth to, to present to the public over radio or television. On page 154, birth is described as to bring forth a child. Through his own action, effort, and behavior, Yahweh ben Yahweh, the one prophet, prophesied to come is presenting himself to the public over radio and on television as the child that has been brought forth to return or restore the children of Israel to the promised land and as the one upon whom the government of Yahweh is upon his shoulder as written in Isaiah Chapter 9, verse 6, which reads in part, For unto us a child is born, 
unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder. Hidden within this scripture is where this child is to be born and where he is to publicly proclaim his birth. Let us examine this scripture carefully. As you can see here, Yahweh ben Yahweh, the one prophet prophesied to come, has brought forth and caused himself to be born in the USA. And he is the first to publicly proclaim and announce over radio and television in the USA that he himself is that child that was promised to be born to return or restore the seed of Adam to the Garden of Eden, the promised land. This authenticates that Yahweh ben Yahweh is self-born, self-proclaimed, and self-published. Make, from the prefix be, also means to develop into. According to Webster's Ninth New Collegiate Dictionary, on page 347, develop means to go through a process of natural growth by successive changes to become gradually manifest. Thus, the word make from the prefix be tells us that Yahweh ben Yahweh, the one prophesied to come, is going through a process of natural growth by successively changing and becoming gradually manifest. In other words, he is undergoing a metamorphosis, meaning that he is growing and developing gradually into the knowledge and awareness of his divinity, which means that he is self-manifested. When the media says that Yahweh ben Yahweh is the self-proclaimed Messiah, they are authenticating and affirming that Yahweh ben Yahweh is not only self-proclaimed, but he is also, in fact, self-induced, self-educated, self-born, self-published, and self-manifested, as written in Revelation chapter 1, verse 5. Since we have thoroughly exposed the intrinsic parts of the prefix B, next week we will carefully examine the intrinsic parts of gotten as we continue our course of singling out the family of Adam from the perspective of the word watch and its relationship to keep. I bear witness to you today that the Messiah Yahweh ben Yahweh is here. I bear witness to you today that the Mahdi is here. I bear witness to you today that Shiloh is here. I bear witness to you today that the great light is here. I bear witness to you today that the Grand Master of the Celestial Lodge, Architect of the Universe, is here. I bear Witness to you today that the enlightened one is here. I bear witness to you today that the one all religions have been speaking of for almost 6,000 years is here. Thank you for listening and join us next week as we continue our discussion of the commandments of Yahweh.
the United States government has declared war against Yahweh ben Yahweh and the nation of Yahweh in its Project Megiddo report released by the FBI in October 1999. Do you know that this is fulfillment of prophecy? It was prophesied in Revelation 12:7 that there was war in heaven. Michael, the Messiah, and his angels fought against the dragon, and the dragon fought and his angels and prevailed not. Neither was their place found any more in heaven. In the government's report, the nation of Yahweh is labeled as extreme terrorists, accused of believing that white people are incarnate manifestations of evil. We are even accused of preparing for a race war and are practicing paramilitary operations, none of which are true. This is a divinely declared word war, whose end result was already declared from the beginning. Since war has been declared, read the Nation of Yahweh's battle plan called Operation Word War on the internet at www.yahwehbenyahweh.com. Who is worthy? Who is worthy to open the book? Who is worthy to open the book and loose the seals thereof? And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man, clothed with a garment down to the foot, and girt about the paps with a golden girdle. His head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire, and his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace, and his voice as the sound of many waters. At the end of time of evil rule, the Anointed One, the Messiah, shall appear. In 1979, Yahweh ben Yahweh came to Miami and became the spiritual leader and founder of the nation of Yahweh. Although he took a vow of poverty, in seven years he guided the nation to amass a $250 million empire. Under his direction, the nation of Yahweh has grown to encompass disciples, followers, and supporters in over 1,300 cities within the U.S. and 16 foreign countries. Yahweh ben Yahweh is bringing about changes in the lives of individuals and is giving the world the keys to success in life, politically, economically, educationally, socially, and spiritually. We, the lost sheep of the house of Israel, are losing all hope of freedom and justice at the hands of the oppressor. And Yahweh hears our groaning. And Yahweh has remembered his covenant with Abraham, with Isaac, and with Jacob. And Yahweh is looking upon the children of Israel, and Yahweh has respect unto us. Exodus chapter 2, verses 23 through 25. Almighty Yahweh sees our suffering today, just as he saw the affliction of our fathers in Egypt and heard our cry by the Red Sea. Nehemiah chapter 9, verse 9. This means that Yahweh is regarding our affliction at the hands of our oppressors, and he is hearing our cry. Psalms chapter 106, verse 44. Almighty Yahweh is known to come down to earth to see about man and his affairs. As recorded in Genesis chapter 11, verse 5, chapter 18, verse 21. Remember that this is the morning of the third day, and I shall rise again. I am the resurrection. It, all of prophecy tells you that I shall rise again. It's all about that. Luke chapter 2, 
verse 34. No doubt about it. Again, I love you forever. Bless you forever. I remind you once again, my associates are children of the light. <laughs> that just brings uh, laughter to my heart, to my soul, to realize that at last, I have those of you that love peace. And I only want to be in the presence of those of you that love peace. I love you forever. Shalom Aleichem. Yahweh is here in the flesh as the Son. And he is saying unto us, the children of Israel, I am Yahweh, and I will bring you out from under the burdens of your oppressors. And I, Yahweh, will bring you into the land which I did swear to give to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. We must come to know that this land is our heritage, and our land is the glory of all lands. Thank you for joining us in the universe of Yahweh. And now we'd like to invite all of you to pray with us as we turn to the east with outstretched hands and say a prayer to our Heavenly Father Yahweh, the Lord's Prayer in Hebrew. Come, let us pray. Tefillah, Ave Nu Shabbat Shemayim, Yikar Deshimeaka, Tavo Malkuteaka, Yase Razonka, Kivashimayim Kane Baaret, Et Lekam Kukenu. Tain la nu hayom, uslak la nu, al kati e nu, ki moshe sol kim, gamanak nu, la kote om la nu, veal tefi e nu, le de ni sayom, kim kal se nu, min hara, kila ka, hamam la ha, ve ha givera, ve ha ti ferret, le o leme, o lemin sila. We thank thee, O Yahweh, O living and eternal king, who has so mercifully restored our souls within us, sila. Praise Yahweh, and always remember that the Father Yahweh and His Son Yahweh Ben Yahweh love you, and your host loves you too. Shalom Aleichem! To order the companion book to the series, The Messiah Revealed, call 1-800-967-PEACE. That's 1-800-967-7337. And when you call, ask about the special discount on the Kingdom of Yahweh Heaven. Videos of this program are available. When ordering, please refer to the program number on the screen. You can now access the Divine Mind of Yahweh Ben Yahweh on the Internet at the address on the screen.